I think some of you guys are super users on the call, so this may be uh, familiar to you already, but uh, we kind of just wanted to showcase to you some of the corporate insight, uh, key performance indicator and dashboard functionality. You know, so for some of, some of our manager and C-level uh, by design users that don't go into by design too much, uh, what we've done is we've kind of set up a, a dashboard with some metrics that are relevant to their business role or their business in general. Um, and so there are some good out of the box uh, KPIs and, and uh, reports that, that we'd recommend uh, for manager level slash C-level people. Um, but the, the kind of the purpose and the benefit of these is it just gives you like a quick snapshot that you can drill into further uh, if you have more, uh, you know, uh, questions or you want to see more detail. And they're really customizable, like we can use the standard out of the box ones, but we've also done some pretty crazy customizations to, you know, build in, um, you know, company specific uh, thresholds and um, uh, baselines and things like that. So. They're pretty customizable once the data is there. Uh, we can even change up the colors and, and, and kind of make it more relevant to whoever needs uh, to see it. Um, and then what we can do is we can also set up dashboards for different roles. So like if you want your uh, logistics team to be looking at certain key indicators like on-time deliveries, um, uh, you know, number of sales orders versus number of sales orders shipped, if you want, them to look at specific metrics and report on them, you can create a logistics team dashboard um, and assign it to all the logistics users. You can create an executive dashboard, you can create a sales dashboard, an operations dashboard, things like that. So one of the benefits is you can kind of set this up on an admin level, like a one-time setup and then assign it to a, to a business role or each uh, individual user as well. Um, and so that's kind of a little bit of the background, and then I'm going to show you, uh, I'll show you what we kind of set up in the system. Um, and from there, we'll just go through any questions, but let me know if you can see my screen. I'm sharing a by design system that we have here uh, at Vista View. So this is just a mock-up that I created just for this call. Um, as you can see, we've kind of gotten some single key performance indicators. We have some pie charts, we have some bar graphs, we have some single bar graphs, we have some key performance indicators with an SAP like detailed report. Um, so this is kind of a mix of KPIs. Um, you know, we recommend like gross revenue is a very easy KPI to, to take a look at and realize, hey, am I close to where I want to be? Um, it says it's rolling year, so you know on a C level you, you'll probably know where you're supposed to be at at the time of the year, and so you can quickly take a look at this number and say, oh, okay, so I'm I'm 223,000 below where I want to be. Um, same thing with receivables. Right now we have 1.5 uh, USD open in receivables. That's overdue. Um, you know on spend analysis, you have this pie chart that details where you've been spending your money. You have year to take year to date 1.6 USD in spend. You can see that it's 71% uh, of that is in IT equipment or equipment at the moment. Um, and so you can kind of, you know, drill into that to see more detail if if you're interested in kind of figuring out okay where is all this spend coming from. So um, here we see Jax is actually the culprit of the majority of the expenditure. Um, and so here you can see references. This is what I was referring to as thresholds and baselines. You can enter in your own custom data, or you can refer to, if you have data in the system, you can refer to that data in the system. Um, so this is a little bit of that. Again, we can set up custom ones too. These are, a lot of these are standard out of the box. Some of them are custom, but this is just an idea of what's possible within the system. Um, and then lastly, uh, we do have the ability to set up uh, broadcast managed dashboards as well. So here I've set up um, a few examples of dashboards. So like we have this executive dashboards that's for the CEO. We have a sales dashboard, we have a purchasing dashboard. And so um, when I view this dashboard, it has user business unit specific dashboards that 
again, you want your team to look at or just a, a, a basic kind of setup for them that helps them get more insight into their business unit. Um, and so purchasing, you can see inventory value, Maverick spend, open AP, spend analysis, open purchasing, et cetera. Um, fee level, again, this is more high level stuff, more uh, financial statement related. Um, you have sales, invoice val values, you have cost of goods sold, gross profit, you know, the standard uh, metrics, but then we also have a portfolio of metrics that we would kind of recommend, we can kind of recommend if you're interested um, in kind of seeing what that looks like. Um, but yeah, any questions, comments, um, feedback? Um, that's kind of just the basic quick rundown of it. I'm sure a lot of you have seen this already. I, I know some of you guys are business uh, key users on the call, um, but I think that I think the custom KPIs is kind of really where you make a lot of uh, progress. I think the standard KPIs you probably already are familiar with or, or maybe already using. But if there are any custom KPIs or custom metrics that you kind of want to see or, or put in the system, you know, we could definitely uh, take a look at that and, and help get that set up.